Go ahead. Hey everyone, my name is Jack Allen, and this is my senior project. My central question is, what are the steps needed to host a basketball skills challenge where the proceeds go to a basketball hoop that would be set up in the back parking lot of Mills High School? So, an overview of my presentation, I'm first going to talk about the Mills core values and beliefs and how it goes with my presentation project, um, why I chose the project, the purpose, my timeline, my mentor, my research results, and all my reflections about the project itself. How it goes with Mills core values and beliefs. Um, I give back to my community. I use my own time and I'm thinking globally, as it says, citizens of global society, it states. So why did I chose, choose the project? Why did I want to put this basketball hoop in? I was on a mass break in Mr. Finney's class last year. It was the springtime. I walked outside, saw all the painted lines in the back parking lot, and said, I need to put a basketball hoop in here. And I had two ideas for this project. One, I wanted to do a dodgeball tournament because freshman year, Hayden Olms had had one and my team won the tournament. And I wanted to do a dodgeball tournament because it was really fun when I did it. But then I thought to myself, does that really have to do with basketball? Would it make sense? So I had this other idea of doing a basketball skills challenge where participants would make a layup, free throw, three pointer, half court shot and the fastest time would win prizes, and all the money would go towards the basketball hoop that would be set up in the back parking lot, so that's what I meant. My mentor for this project was Mr. Fallon. He's an excellent choice because he knows basketball very well. We've had a great relationship in the past. He was my teacher for a year, and one of the best things that he did for me was write up this piece of paper, talks about names, ideas, people to talk to, places I could do it, this, it doesn't look like a lot, but it really helped, and it's a lot of information. So what I hope to accomplish, I wanted to buy a hoop. Obviously, that was the main goal, and I really wanted to do it since I've had this idea in mind for so long. Um, so I wanted to have a good time while I was doing the project because I know that so many people in the past did just dislike their project in general, didn't have fun doing it, and it was unmotivating. So I needed to make sure that it was something I really wanted to do. Um, one of my biggest goals is to pro provide a good time for everyone at the event and possibly have extra money um, along with the basketball hoop to go towards the boys and girls basketball programs. So part of my timeline is that I want to research during the winter time, which I wrote on this um, piece of paper that didn't go to Mr. Grant. Um, I wanted to plan for the event to be held in March and it was held on April 2nd, so I just barely missed my hopes of getting in March. I, this is an uh, email from Mrs. Cleary saying I'm all set to use the gym. Um, I talked to her, it was a super nice woman and um, I wanted to order the hoop with the money from that event, so I needed that money from the event in March so I could put it in April because in May is when I want to install it because that's when I'm graduating. And uh, not when I'm graduating, I guess I'll make it the last day of school. Um, benefits of playing a team sport was one of my first research topics because obviously with the hoop you're going to be playing basketball and I've been playing a team sports for my whole life and something that often gets looked, um, looked past is the positive effects that it has on the classroom life and students because it positively impacts emotional development and psychological health a lot and it often is something that people don't take into consideration um, with sports. Uh, also character development, it makes, you, it makes you a better person you're working with, you're collaborating with other people that have the same interests in you and it makes you, uh, it makes you a bigger person too and it makes you part of something that's not just yourself. Um, because being part of a team does bring togetherness and happiness, and it's been proven to show that, and making relationships and being social is something that also comes with it. So that's a very important part of life. Something else that I researched was the history of basketball. A man named James Naismith um, made, um, invented the game of basketball in 1891 when there was a big storm, New England storm, they had to make the game to play inside, so James Naismith, professor at Springfield College, 
decided to ask the janitor for some peach baskets, a really crappy ball, and just set up this game of basketball. And just a year later, the first college basketball game would be held in 1892, followed by women's basketball in 1893, which came into the NCAA, then into the Olympics, and then into the NBA that we know now. So, some things that I need to do prior to installing the hoop was figure out how to do that. Um, this is my basketball hoop at home. Um, I did help install it when we first moved there a couple of years ago. So I have had prior experience doing this and family members that also knew how to do it. So that's what made me think this was a good idea because I knew how to do it. But I needed a quality hoop, obviously, one that weather couldn't affect and one that would last for years. So I needed to install and permanently concrete in the hoop. So that's where my work with Mr. Engr came in because he was huge, because he's the operations manager and he could give me permission to dig the hole, which would, would be right here, and install the hoop. Um, the three biggest steps of installing a permanent basketball hoop are digging the hole, obviously, setting the foundation, and installing the hoop with cement. Uh, part of my research was how to fundraise an event. It's something completely new to me that I've never done before. And I knew I needed a sufficient amount of money for basketball hoops that are pretty expensive. So I researched a 10 step guide and it gave me, gave me general ideas of what the most important parts of fundraising is about. And part of it is planning. The biggest part of it is planning and budget is what came to bite me in the butt which I wish I looked into more, but part of that budget, place, time, people, time management, all things that are very important to fundraising an event. Um, <coughs> I also learned that you need to be a leader, take authority, and you're, make, you're the one making the decisions, so you need to be the biggest person if you're holding your own event. That's something I wasn't really familiar with because I had never done something like this. Um, also, the marketing part, I sent emails to the middle school and high school offices about putting announcements on the intercoms for a week and also I made these flyers that I put all around the school. Um, I also talked to many parents and kids in the school building, just, just try to spread the word about it more. And the most, part, the most important part about um, fundraising event is execution because you need to get it done in order to make a sufficient amount of money. So the result, it's not what I wanted, um, but I did raise $200. It was not enough for a basketball hoop as the, I should have been more cautious because the hoop prices did shoot up a lot over since December, which I was not expecting, which I was not ready for. Um, so the money did go towards the boys and girls in those basketball programs. Um, I gave Coach Adams and Coach uh, Fallon each $100. To so here's some pictures from the event. I have just some of the middle school guys. Here's Lincoln Hart shooting our favorite Timmy Ryan shooting a half court shot. <laughs> so th these two times were the middle school event. This was Lincoln Hart's time, and this was one of the Pinto twins. Um, it was really close. It got really heated. <laughs> one of the Pintos really wanted to win. And here's a few short clips from my event. Okay. Alright, first one. Alright, here are the winners. Um, Matt Fiala won it for the high school. It was actually incredible. He hit the layup, free throw, three point, and half court shot in the, just four shots. Um, pretty close to like a world record. It's actually <laughs> really crazy. Um, and here's Lincoln Hart, who won it for the middle school too. So some of the achievements. My event was super fun. I also bettered my communication skills because I had to reach pe out to people via email. I had texts, calls, talking in person, people that I've never met before. Um, and I also had a lot of support from the community. I heard like I heard things from parents around town, kids around school were talking about it. It gave me a lot of um, hope that my project would be successful. 
and I was able to give back to the community and give back to a program that I definitely know needs money and that I've been supportive of um, for my whole high school career. So some of the struggles, definitely my budget. Um, I could have charged more, I could have thought about it more, I could have made money, a lot more money, lots of potential for this project. Um, so I also could have been better with my timeline. I, didn't fo I did follow it pretty well, but not as I had hoped. And um, of course, I wish I had bought the hoop and installed it because it would have meant a lot to me to finally just get it over with after a year of planning. And uh, here are some of the hoops that I was looking at earlier. Obviously, a lot more expensive. Um, so what I learned, a lot of the research, especially how to fundraise an event, um, it's the research when I was doing it, I just figured I'd be researching, writing it down on paper and and never think about it again. But the research that I did for this project actually really helped me when it comes to real life. I also learned to get things done because when you follow your timeline, things will go a lot more smoothly. And um, also marketing my project was a big part of this project. Um, that's something I want to do in the following years at UNH is major in marketing. So I feel like that was a good start to where I'm going. Advice for future seniors. Follow your timeline, don't waste your time because it, it will haunt you, <laughs> I'll tell you that. Think of ideas early. That's something that not a lot of people did, but I thought of my idea last year. I came into September already knowing what I wanted to do, and it actually really helped me a lot. And um, use your resources, you have a lot, whether you know it or not. And last thing, if you're working with money, be wise, because you need to be able to reach your goals. My thank yous, um, of course, my mentor, Mr. Fallon. He was incredible for me. Mr. Bigelow for helping me with all my papers. Mr. Engler, my friends who helped with the event, my family, and uh, all participants of the event. Thank you. <laughs>